Hi, Emily. What's up? Mika, I'm glad I could finally get hold of you. I left you so many messages. Why haven't you returned my calls? Why didn't you come to Dad's funeral? I told you the time and venue, didn't I? Oh, my bad. I'm not home right now. Where are you then? I'm on vacation with my boyfriend in Hawaii. Hawaii? How long have you been gone? Ah, uh, About like 10 days or so? Wait, 10 days ago? That's when I called you about Dad's condition getting worse. How could you go on vacation at a time like this? You haven't even gone to see Dad once while he's been in the hospital. What's the matter with you? What was I supposed to do? This was the only week my boyfriend was free this month. Are you kidding me? I couldn't just cancel on him. He might have dumped me. Do you expect him to dump you for going to see your dying father? I don't know. Maybe. Oh, never mind. You missed his funeral. But you at least need to come by the house and pay your respects. I know you're not his biological daughter, but he's still your father. Ugh, I really don't want to. Mika? But even if I could, once I get back, I'm going with my boyfriend to Miami. What? Another vacation? What's the matter? Don't like Miami? It's not about Miami. Mika, let me ask you something. How do you afford all these trips? You only work part-time, and you're always asking me for money. Oh, don't worry. That won't be a problem anymore. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, don't play dumb. But for real, I won't be asking you for money anymore. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Still, you need to come by the house. My husband and I are staying here for the next few weeks, and then our aunt is going to come and look after the house until it gets sold. Gotcha. I'll stop by once I get back from Miami. You had better mean that, Mika. Mika, it's Emily again. It's been two weeks since you said you'd come to the house, and you haven't come. You promised, Mika. Oh, shoot. Sorry. I'm on vacation, actually. Wait, what? You're still not back from Miami? Nah, I'm not in Miami anymore. I went on another vacation with my boyfriend. Mika, are you serious? How are you going on all these vacations? Where are you getting the money? And just what exactly does your boyfriend do for a living? I mean, it's not really my business, but is he even working? How does he afford all these trips? You mean his job? Yeah, where does he work? I mean, he must have hit his limit on paid time off by now. Even if he's working remotely, how can he keep up with his work if he's constantly jet-setting across the country? You must not have gone to your job in a month. Are you for real? I figured you'd be smart enough to get it by now. But man, you're just completely oblivious, huh? Oblivious? Oblivious to what? <laughs> Unreal. Gotta go, my boyfriend is calling me. Talk to you later. Mika, wait, you still need to come by the house. How long are you gonna keep blowing us off? Hey, Emily, it's Tim. I'm sorry to message you so late. Couldn't you talk? Hi, Tim. Thanks for coming to my dad's funeral the other day. Not a problem, I was glad to come. Your dad was a great uncle to me. He helped me out a lot back in the day. I just wish I had more time to spend with him. Don't worry, Tim. You were a great nephew. I know how much you meant to him. So, about your dad. I've been debating whether or not I should tell you this, but I think you deserve to know. What's the matter? It's about Mika. Oh no, what did my sister do this time? Well, I started law school recently, and I see Mika from time to time at the train station on my way to class. Wow, really? Yeah, I think she probably lives around the same area, but um, every time I see her, she's with a different guy. What? Are you saying... Uh... And with each guy, she, well, she seems really close to him. Always holding hands, hugging, kissing, so I'm, I'm worried, well, I'm kind of worried if she has multiple boyfriends. You think she's cheating on all of them? Probably, yeah. And some of them have been uh, quite a bit older than her. Like this guy the other day, he had to be in his 50s and he was wearing a wedding ring. I'm kind of concerned about her. I see. And maybe I'm jumping to conclusions, and if so, I'm sorry, but like I said, I, I thought you should know. Thanks for telling me, Tim. I think I'll ask Mika directly about that tomorrow. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help you out. I haven't passed a bar exam yet, but I do know a thing or two about the law. Thanks a lot, Tim. I'll let you know if I need to take you up on that. Hey, Mika, do you have a minute? Oh, Emily! Perfect timing! I was just about to message you. About what? When am I getting my share? Share? Share of what? 
the inheritance? What else? What? I need money. Fast. Money? My boyfriend's wife found out I was sleeping with her husband, and she's suing me. What? So you really were dating an older married man? Wait, you knew about that? Tim said he's seen you at the station, and that you're with a different guy every time, and one of them was wearing a wedding ring. Ah, <laughs> guess I'm busted. This isn't funny. I wish I could have known sooner. I could have stopped you. How many men are you dating right now? Uh, right now? Like, seven-ish. Seven? Yeah, I mean, fooling around with married men is like super thrilling. <laughs> oh no, are all the seven of them married? Yeah, uh... Mika, what are you thinking? What were you planning on doing if their wives found out? Yeah, about that. All seven of their wives found out at right about the same time. <laughs> All of them? One of them hired a private investigator, and the PI found out about the other six guys while investigating me. So now they're all going after me together, like they're the Justice League. <laughs> what a bunch of losers. They're just jealous their husbands liked me more. <laughs> Mika, do you have any idea how serious your situation is? Think about it, you're going to have to pay damages to all seven women. Yeah, they told me as much. Have you reached a settlement yet? Yep, a total of $300,000. $300,000? Yeah, some of them added punitive damages because they were pregnant, I guess. So, it's a little bit more than I thought it would be. You certainly seem to be at peace about the whole thing. How are you going to pay that off? You only work part-time and you've been constantly going on vacations for the last month. What exactly is the game plan for you, Mika? <laughs> Seriously, Emily, how are you so clueless? What are you talking about? I'm going to use my inheritance. What? I kind of figured I'd get caught eventually from the start, to be honest. But since I knew Dad's inheritance was coming soon, I thought, hey, might as well enjoy myself. Is that why you've been so loose with money lately? Yep. Even after taxes, Dad's estate has got to be worth at least three mil, right? And since Mom's already dead, that means we get all of that. So half of that's mine, 1.5 million. I'll still be sitting pretty even after I pay off the 300k settlement. Is that why you've been so loose with money lately? Bingo! So, when am I getting the money? I need it pretty soon. By tomorrow, if possible. Uh, Mika? I told them I'd pay the 300k settlement in a lump sum. They knocked off 50k for that. You're not getting any inheritance, Mika. Huh? Wait, I'm not? No, Mika, you're not. Ah, uh, <laughs> you really had me going there for a second, Emily. <laughs> Good one. I'm not joking. So, let me know when you make the transfer, okay? Bye. Mika, listen to me. Hey, Emily. Any updates on my money? I just called the bank. They said the transfer hadn't come yet. I tried to tell you, you're not getting any inheritance. Not a single penny. Wait, I don't believe you. Are you trying to keep all Dad's money for yourself? I'm not going to let you get away with that. Mika, wake up. This was your own fault, remember? This was what you chose. What do you mean? I talked to our cousin Tim last night. He's going to law school. My dad married your mom after you were born. You're not his biological daughter. Yeah, and? And dad never legally adopted you. So? When you were 20, dad asked you about legally becoming his daughter and do you remember what you said to him? Nah, sounds like a pain in the ass. What's that gotta do with my inheritance? Well, long story short, since Dad never legally adopted you, you don't have any legal right to his inheritance. No way! No one ever told me that! Yes, Mika, Dad told you himself. He told you that you won't get any inheritance if he doesn't adopt you, and you still said no. You're lying. This is all a trick to steal my share of the money. I'll give you my Dad's lawyer phone number. Ask him yourself. Or could you know, Google it. It's pretty common knowledge. Unreal. So wait, what am I supposed to do about the settlement? How should I know? This is your problem, not mine. Can you give me 300k? 
You want me to give you $300,000? You're his only daughter, so you got all of his stuff, right? You're getting $3 million. You can throw me a measly 300 k I have to pay the settlement by the end of this week. I'll give you my bank info, so wire me the money today, okay? No. No? I'm not wasting a single penny of my inheritance to get you out of the mess you got yourself into. You cheated with seven men at the same time knowing full well you were gonna get sued. Thinking dad's money was gonna bail you out? What kind of person does that? Come on, Emily! We're sisters, right? We may not be blood-related, but we've been sisters for ten years! So please, help me out here, okay? Please, you're my only hope! Not on your life. Please! After that, Mika showed up at my house just about every night for a few weeks, banging on the door and begging me for money. Once I contacted the police and got a restraining order, though, she finally left me alone. As for me, once all dad's affairs were set in order, I transferred to a company on the other side of the country. Thankfully, my husband was already working from home, so he was very understanding about the move. Seems like I'll finally be able to settle down and relax for the first time since dad passed. I also sold my dad's house, and a new family moved in a few weeks ago. Now, about my sister, she managed to get a loan for the 300 k dollar settlement. But the guy she borrowed from was, well, a loan shark. She stiffed him, of course, so she had to change her name and flee the state. I doubt I'll be hearing from her again anytime soon. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the like button. See you next time.